Hey, in today's video, we're doing a review of Novo Business Banking, which is rather ironic because it's actually technically not a bank. Now, if you're like me, you want everything to be online, but it kind of depends because if you're thinking about your banking, that's where I get a little bit concerned. And I started looking up Novo and doing some uh, digging on them because I'm interested in changing my business banking account. So maybe in your situation, you just started a business or you're having issues with your current bank and you wanna make things more seamless online. Now, if I looked up when did Novo Banking start, it actually started in 2016. But the interesting thing is if you go to their website and their About Us page and scroll down, here you'll see it says, to be clear, we're an independent tech company. We're not owned or operated by a bank and we leave the banking to our incredible partner, Middlesex Federal Savings. So it's kind of interesting that this is a tech business that integrates with Middlesex Federal Savings. Now, if you go to Middlesex, their website looks more like you'd expect from a banking company, right? It's a little bit dated and whatnot, but one of the things that makes me feel a little bit better is that they are in Massachusetts and it was established in 1890. So when you have a Novo business banking account, the interface may only be six years old, but the people handling your banking have been around since 1890, which I find reassuring. So one of the other things I wanted to do was take a look at some of the fee structures and explain how these fees can be so low or non-existent. Now, taking a look here, really what you need to know is opening your account, you just need $50 to open it and it takes 10 minutes to set up an account. And speaking of which, I do have a link in the description below that if you sign up through my link, I may make a commission which helps to support my YouTube channel and I really appreciate that. So going down further, you have general fees. So the only ones that you get charged for are insufficient fund charges, which I think most of us are familiar with, right? You just didn't have enough funds in your account or uncollected funds returned fee. So that one I had to look up because I was a little bit hazy on. And basically what that means is that this is when you are charged funds in an account but are not available to pay the item due to holds on the account. Holds could be present on the account due to pending purchases, holds placed on deposits, or other miscellaneous holds. So still not 100% clear to me, which is probably a good thing because I have never had a hold placed on one of my accounts, but we can get the idea here. Now, one of the downsides though with Novo Business Banking is if you need to do cash deposits. If you're a business that gets a lot of cash, the way that would work on Novo Business Banking is you'd have to turn it into a money order, which of course is gonna cost you money to do that, just like you would deposit a check using their app. So I think where you can really start to distinguish the difference between Novo and your brick and mortar bank accounts is if you actually look at reviews on the app stores. So a little tip too, if you're trying to get a sense of how good a product or service will be, especially if it's more of a modern product, maybe it's a smart product, or it's in this case, an online business banking account. If you go to the app store reviews, that'll give you some good insights. So you can see 4.8, rating almost 8,000 reviews on the Novo business banking on the app store. And I've looked at some other bank accounts and I'm seeing as low as about three and a half on their apps. And again, it's because they're not tech companies, they're dinosaurs. They are the Barnes and Noble of banking. The way that I like to think about this is if you've ever watched one of those videos of either like Mark Zuckerberg or the CEO of Google being interviewed by Congress, about how their services work. And you get these kind of like old congressmen who have no idea even how the internet works, let alone their products and services. And then it's just such a disconnect. That's what you're looking at though when you're comparing Novo Business Banking versus your traditional brick and mortar banks. One's a bank and one's a tech company. And the tech company was smart enough to have the banking handled by an official bank, but they're gonna be the tech partner that's gonna make your experience as smooth as possible. So again, guys, thank you for using my link in the description below to sign up. You still get the best possible price and promotions, but I may receive a commission when you use my link, which helps to support my YouTube channel. Now, last up here, if you're looking for a good laugh, this is Congress interviewing tech people. And then beneath that video, if you do wanna check out the other seven business banking accounts that I did a review of, you can find that video beneath there. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video and thanks again for watching.